I recently had a shoot where I had to light an exterior scene at night with no access to plugs, so my only option was battery power. My key light for the scene was going to be a 300D Mark II, which is the same light that's lighting me here right now, and I knew that it can be powered with V-mount or gold mount batteries, but it's not something I had tried before. I did some research, but I couldn't really find a lot of great information, so I decided to just bite the bullet and buy one of the cheapest V-locks I could find on Amazon. Luckily for me, it worked. But don't get too excited because there are definitely some drawbacks. This is the battery. It's a 95 watt, 6600 milliamp hour battery from a company called Power Extra. I've never heard of them before and I can't seem to find many reviews or any videos on YouTube, but my initial impressions are pretty good. It's a slim design with a battery indicator on the side like most other V-Locks. There's also a USB out and a D-tap on the side. Uh, you can use both of these to power accessories and you can use the D-tap to actually charge the battery, though I haven't tried that, I used a large charger from IDX to charge mine. So why is this battery so much cheaper than ones from other brands? Well, I had a quick look through Amazon and I could see that batteries from Newer and Backstar had the exact same design and specs. So I went to Alibaba and I found that they're all made by a company called Sens Real in Shenzhen, China, which is this huge tech mega city. Companies like DJI, Anker, and Huawei are all from Shenzhen, and if you haven't heard of it, look it up, it's quite amazing. So companies like Power Extra and Newer just buy the batteries from Sensreal and slap their logo on it, but it's the exact same thing no matter what brand you go with. Now, that doesn't make it a bad product, but as with most professional equipment, a lot of what you pay for is reliability. Power Extra and the other brands have no say in the manufacturing or testing of the batteries. They kind of just take what they're given. And my guess is that Sens Real doesn't put anywhere near as much money and time into the design and components as say IDX or Bebob. So I would still recommend a more reputable brand if you need rock solid reliability but if you're like me and you're just getting into the world of V-mount batteries, these do seem to be a really good option. Before I move on to telling you about what it's like to use this V-Lock with a 300D, I just wanna take a second to ask you to consider subscribing if you haven't already. I started uploading to this channel about two months ago and my aim is to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you like what you see, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. Okay, that's enough about that. What is it like to actually use this battery with a 300D? Well, firstly, if you're only using one battery like I have been, you get 50% of the regular output that you would normally get if you're plugged in. If you attach another battery, you're back to your normal full brightness. So that's not too bad, right? I mean, the 300D is really powerful, so you'll still be able to get a really good amount of light out of it. Well, yes, but if you're planning on using it for an extended period of time at 100%, you'll need a lot of these little batteries because one of these will only get you about 25 minutes of runtime. 75% will get you about 35 minutes, so not much more, but things start looking up when you go down to 50%, which in my tests got me one hour and 10 minutes of runtime. And finally, at 25%, I got two hours and 20 minutes out of one of these batteries. Now, that's a lot of numbers. So to put that into perspective, for this setup, I'm using it with a Light Dome Mini 2 with a grid on, and the light is set to 12%, which would be 24% if I was using a single battery. The camera I'm using is an FS7 set to 2000 ISO, and the lens is at f3.5. The light is very close to me, so I can get the most out of it and to get a soft light but the grid on it is actually making a huge difference to the output level, and it's not actually pointing directly at me, it's pointing more towards the center of the desk so that there's not as much spill on the background. So if you wanted to shoot an interview like this, you can run the light for over two hours. Now, obviously I have complete control over the lighting here, which isn't always the case, but still, this is the cheapest V-Lock on Amazon, so I still think it's quite impressive. So in the end, it boils down to this. If you want to run the 300D at its maximum output for a whole day, you will need a lot of big batteries and they'll probably end up costing way more than the actual light itself. But I don't expect a lot of people would need that. I know I wouldn't. I think using the 300D with batteries is better for those more rare moments. 
Say you're shooting interviews and all of a sudden you find out that someone that you need to film has to go catch a train in the next 20 minutes. So you only have 10 minutes with them but you want to film them in a different part of the building. So you unplug the light, whack on a battery, and you can be set up again in a matter of minutes. Or like me, you have to shoot at night, but won't have access to any plugs or a generator, but it's a relatively short scene and it's at night, so you won't have to blast it at 100%. I think I had my light set to about 30% in my case. That video isn't out yet, so unfortunately I can't share any screenshots or the setup with you guys, but make sure to follow me on Instagram because I will definitely be posting some frames of it there when I can. So yeah, it's not perfect. You can't just put a couple of these on and have a portable 300D for a day. But for the size and the price, they're great to have around especially because you could easily put a couple of these in the light bag and just always bring them with you in case you need them. That's probably what I'll be doing. But that's it for this video. Hit the like button if you learned something new. Again, I'm aiming for 100 subs by the end of the month, so subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see more videos just like this one. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Rock solid reliability. Rock, rock solid reliability. Try saying that three times.